Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about this new Fallout show that everybody's going crazy over right now. Obviously, it's a great show. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend going and checking it out on Amazon. I wanted to talk about it for one main reason, and that is that I'm really hoping that this trend of making really, really high quality TV shows and hopefully films too out of video game franchises really catches on and continues and becomes the norm going forward. I saw an interview with Todd Howard recently, it was an IGN interview, and they asked him, will there be more Bethesda games based TV shows coming out? And he didn't have a direct answer for them, but what he did say was, well, for Fallout, it wasn't a case of them being like, hey, we have this IP and we need to make a TV show out of it to make money. It was more a case of having the right people involved at the right time who were passionate about the brand and it all came together perfectly for those reasons. And I found that really interesting because when you when you kind of think back to what we've had in the past, I mean, if you look you know, throughout the 90s, 2000s and beyond with certainly with movies that are based on video games, they do feel kind of like they're just cashing in on the brand and they're treating us like idiots in a way. It's like, you know, if you think about like the Doom movie or the Prince of Persia movie, and they, I mean, they were, the Prince of Persia one was okay, I guess, but the Doom movie was, it was not great. It had nothing to do with the game, really, you know? But basically, you know, the strategy in the past for Hollywood has always been, oh, there's this brand that everyone knows and loves let's make a movie out of it people will go they'll just go see it because it's a it's a it's a game that they love right and for a long time you know that's been the approach and they've made money doing it that way but now when you see things like fallout the last of us um cyberpunk edge runners those those three shows in particular uh they're and they're all quite recent shows have been such such high quality shows compared to everything else before them. Okay, I mean, like The Witcher season one was 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 pretty decent, but it kind of went off the rails after that, I think. But anyway, I digress. Fallout, The Last of Us, and Cyberpunk Edge Runners, those three shows, what they've done is they've, they've kind of reinvigorated interest in the brands, right? So you see with, like with, with Edge Runners, when that anime came out, people were diving right back into Cyberpunk 2077 after it had been out for a few years and it had had a disastrous launch, but the TV show got people interested in it again and got people playing the game, right? Now they've released DLC and they've released it after people have actually gone back and seen all the improvements that they've made to that game and it's been a huge success for them, right? We're seeing it again with Fallout. A lot of the old Fallout games are seeing like record high player counts and you know they're getting a lot of sales for those games too, right? So it's it's a good strategy and it makes sense business wise, right? It's making them money. So I really hope that that encourages people to actually start putting a little bit more effort into telling a really good story and making a really, really great TV show or film out of video game properties going forward rather than just trying to cash in on the name, treating us like dumb idiots who'll just spend money on a doom movie because it's doom anyway those are my thoughts uh i'd love to hear what you think uh also this is the first time i'm doing this type of a video so uh let me know if you like this type of thing and maybe i'll continue doing these going forward um yeah cool thanks see ya